so hello my dear students and learners in the series of data structures and algorithms so today i am going to discuss that how to display the contents of a singly linked list okay so displaying the contents of a singly linked list means you know that each and every node of a singly linked list contain two part so mainly we are going to uh, print the data part of the linked list okay the address part we are not bother about that okay so we will only print the data part of the linked list okay so suppose the return type of the function is void that means it will not return anything okay when this function will gets called and the name of the function is display okay and it is not accepting any parameters okay now you know that whenever we are working with a single linked list be it as single linked list or double linked list we have to always start with the beginning of the linked list okay so from the first node we have to start and we have to traverse the entire list that means from first to last okay and every time we will point to a particular node starting from the first node and if the node is a valid node we will print its data part and then we will save the pointer from that node to the next node so in this way from first to next node each and every node will be visited and its data part will be printed okay so but whenever you are going to print the contents of a linked list you may have to face two kind of situation the case number one is the list may not exist that means the list may be empty okay so how can you recognize the list is empty so you have to check the content of the head because you know that the head always keep the address of the first node of the list okay so if the first node address is null that means if the first node is not there that means head content will be null and if the head content is null that means what the list is empty okay and if the list is empty we will not have anything to print okay so first we will check what is the content of the head so if head equals to equals to null if the condition becomes true that means what that means the list is empty if the condition true that means list is empty okay now if the condition becomes true then we will print a message that means print f new line list is empty nothing to print okay and we will simply return back from the function okay return okay but suppose the condition is not true that means the content of head is not null that means the list is there okay so then the else part will be executed so first we will draw an existing list okay so uh, suppose we are considering four nodes over there so first we will draw the figure okay so we have drawn four nodes node number 1 2 3 and 4 Suppose the address of these nodes are hundred, two hundred, three hundred, and four hundred. Okay, so this is the head pointer, which is actually containing the address of the first node, which is hundred here. Okay, now suppose the data parts are containing integer values like seven, six, then eleven. Okay, then five like that. Okay, and hundred next node is two hundred, so hundred next node is containing two hundred. 200 next node is 300 so 200 next node is containing 300 and 300 next node is 400 so 300 next node is containing 400 okay so those nodes are connected like that and 400 is the last node okay so that's why the 400 next node is containing a null value okay so this is the linked list and we have to display the content of the data part only that we are considering here okay so in the else part that means when the else part will be executed when the list is not empty if the list is empty if block will be executed and if the list is that means else part will be executed when the list exists okay now first what do you have to do whenever we are working with a linked list we have to always start from the beginning of the list that means from the first node okay so first we will declare a node pointer so we are declaring struct node star temp okay so in in this program what we are going to do we are not going to create any new node rather the node data part will be displayed that's okay that's only you have to do so we have created the node pointer temp and then 
we will assign the content of the head to the temp pointer that means content of the head means that is address of the first node so address of the first node is being now stored in the temp pointer that means temp each pointing to the first node of the list where from we have to start working okay then what we will do from first node to last node we have to visit each and every node that means we have to traverse the entire list and we have to print when the temp is pointing to the first node we will check is it a valid node if it is a valid node its data part will be printed okay and from first to last each and every node will visit and repeat the data part so that's we have to do so for that we have to execute a loop because uh, so many nodes we have to visit so so many data part we have to print that's why we have to execute a loop so we are considering a while loop so while we are giving the condition temp not equals to null now what is temp temp is the pointer which is actually pointing to the node address okay right now temp is pointing to the first node address okay and you check what is the content of the temp temp content is 100 i am writing here so 100 is not equals to null that means the condition is true that means temp is pointing to a valid node okay now the, if the node is valid definitely it will have a valid data part okay so if the condition is true what we will do we will print it data part okay so what we will write printf okay so percentage d why percentage d because in the data part we have stored integer value so integer data part is going to be printed so percentage d then we will print the data part of the node the node is being now pointed by the temp pointer so its data part means temp arrow data so you have to write temp arrow data okay now we have printed the data part of the first node then we have to set the temp pointer from first node to second node okay so for that what we have to write we have to write temp is equals to temp arrow next okay that means you check that current temp is 100 and what is the current temp arrow next value this is the next part of the temp so temp arrow next means 200 and this is the second node that means the next node so new temp value will be current temp arrow next that is 200 so temp will be shifted from 100 to 200 that means from first node to the second node okay so this is the close of the while loop again what will happen temp content that is 200 will be checked so temp is 200 uh, it is not equals to null that means temp is again pointing to a valid node so its data part that means temp arrow data will be printed and after printing its data part temp will be shifted to the next node okay so temp is equals to temp arrow next will be executed that means temp will be shifted to its next part that means temp arrow next is 300 so new value of temp will be 300 okay so you always Keep one thing in your mind that if temp is pointing to first node, that means temp arrow next is pointing to the second node. If temp is pointing to the second node, temp arrow next is pointing to the third node. Okay. Now, if temp is pointing to the third node, your current temp arrow next is pointing to the fourth node like that. Okay. So, now again the temp value will be checked. It is 300 now. It is pointing to the third node. So, 300 is not equal to null. That means it is also a valid data. Okay. Valid node actually. So its data part will be printed that is temp arrow next will be data will be printed so 11 will be printed and after printing temp will be shifted to its next part that means temp arrow next 400 will be the new value of temp okay now temp has reached to the last node here okay so 400 is the address where temp is pointing to so it will again be checked it is not equal to null that means it is also a valid node and its data part that is 5 temp arrow data it will be printed and after printing what will happen temp will be shifted to its next part so check that temp is currently pointing to the 400 so its next part means temp arrow next is what temp arrow next is null so after executing this statement temp is equals to temp arrow next current value of temp is 400 so temp arrow next is 400 next part that is null so the new value of temp will be null so temp is now pointing to null okay temp is now pointing to null okay now what is the condition we have put that if the temp value is not equals to null but you check the current value of temp is equals to null so the condition become false that means we will be out of this loop that means we have printed the data part of all the nodes in the linked list that means we have traversed the entire list fully okay so that will be the end of the function okay so this will be the else part
close of the else part and that will be the close of the display function. So in this function basically what you have done, we have just printed the data part of the each and every node of the list from first node to the last node. Okay, so first we have checked the content of head, if it is null that means the list is empty. Okay, then we have printed the message the list is empty, nothing to print, we have written back from the function. And if it is not true, that means here in this case, this is the existing list, you check the content of the head is 100, so the condition here will be false in the if condition, so head content is 100, so it is not equal to null, that means the list exists, so else part will be executed. So if part will be executed when the list is empty and the else part will be executed when the list exists. Okay, now we are declaring a temp pointer, we are starting from the first node, that's why you have written temp is equals to head and we are executing the loop, that means temp not equals to null and each and every time temp is pointing to a node, we are printing the data part of that node and after printing then we are shifting the temp pointer from this node to the next node. So in this way, we are reaching to each and every node through temp pointer and we are printing the data part from first to last. Okay. So I hope that you have understood the concept of display function. Thanks for watching. Please take care. Have a nice day.